We've been waiting a while, man. Warren's long. I think it's a terrible time to be honest. Most boring international football team I've ever watched. <laughs> if I was in America right now and a police pulled me over, I'm just gonna, I'm staying yeah. stiff. Well, at 20 minutes to five, we can now say the decision taken in 1975 by this country to join the common market has been reversed. This will be a victory for real people, a victory for ordinary people, a victory for decent people. What's the first uh, thing that comes to your mind? The first thing that comes to your mind? I'm when when, when you've seen every, everybody voting out, you when, when you found out that we voted out? I actually thought now I'm going to have to pay for a visa to go visit Spain and that. <laughs> Same, you know, bro. Like, yo. <laughs> but then a lot of people didn't vote because they thought, nah, no, we're not going to leave Brexit. We're not going to leave the Europe. Everyone thought it was a serious deal, so a lot of people stayed home and didn't vote, a.k.a. Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right still. He thought he was in the bag. He thought, nah, England's not that dumb. I huh? really much thought that a lot of people based their vote over immigration. I think that's what the, one of the main points. You know what they thought it would happen? They thought if you voted leave, you know the Simpsons movie, the dome. That's what they thought. That's, that's what they thought would happen. They thought the dome would come over and no one else could come in. That's what they thought. In actual fact, we voted leave, and you know, what, what's changed? Yeah, yeah, I voted because I just, I just turned 18 at the time, so I've never voted before in it. So I was, I was kind of excited to, to be voting still. The majority of people that did vote was that voted to leave was middle-aged and elderly in it trying to make Britain how it was. We chose to leave and that's what it is. We have to adapt Exactly, to but we're Great Britain anyway, so regardless of whether we leave or not, we're still one of the biggest nations in the world. So like, we're still gonna get trade, we're still gonna be doing well. The British people have made a very clear decision to take a different path. And as such, I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. I think he just put his hands up, man, because he was like, you guys are really going to do this. And he gets backed out. Now he's chilling on the beach with his wife because he's just like, you like, just going to run the country down the drain, man. He tried, man. He was just like, yo, I put my hands up and I'm gone. Like a baby. He, he said, let's do the election, let's do the referendum, last and quit. I kind of felt sorry for him. He looked like he wanted to cry when he delivered that speech. I, I, I respected it, I rated it because he didn't want to like, be prime minister yeah. and support something he didn't believe in. Okay. And that in itself is honest, yeah. isn't it? Well, I, can I, guess. I can agree with that, yeah. But at the same time, I think it's kind of sneaky. <laughs> The headlines, as hate, a final farewell to one of the greatest sporting icons of all time. It's like the champ, there have been times where I got beat up a little bit. Muhammad Ali. I used to do amateur boxing, so that one hit me. Yeah. That one hit me, man. Muhammad Ali hit me. That's uh, obviously my man's the greatest, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. and he wasn't even the greatest because of his boxing ability, because he spoke it. He yeah. literally spoke it into being. <laughs> spoke like, into existence, innit? Yeah, he spoke it into existence. He's like, yo, I'm the man. I man has to start believing him. I'm the real champion. There'll never be one like me. And all you people in Britain who rank me as the greatest, I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. I'm his, the, his dedication that he had and the way he bounced back from when he lost. And yeah, it was it's inspiring, man. It was a big loss. But then again, so was Prince. Massive. Two legends. <laughs> First uh, album he did all himself, played all 27 instruments at 19 years old. I mean, definitely a, 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 an icon. He will certainly be missed. As a kid, when I was growing up, my dad used to play Prince all the time. I used to listen to him every other day. I think it, Prince, is, not to say obviously it wasn't like a big thing in itself, but I think that hit home more because Michael Jackson, we already lost him. Oh, yeah. We lost Whitney. And we feel like all the greats are going. They were all cultural figures, we're all figures that helped us recognise oppression wherever. David Bowie died, right? But I didn't know about him. Was David Bowie young? Not young, like, 
like way young, but was he like 50, 60? I don't know how old he was when he went. I mean, I, I, like I knew of him. I said I looked like him when I had the red hair. <laughs> <laughs> announcement of his death was made on David Bowie's Facebook page. It said that David Bowie died peacefully today, surrounded by his family after a courageous 18-month battle with cancer. I know you won't believe us. We're gonna win the league. I'm a football anorak in it. And Leicester City, it's the biggest thing that's ever happened. Like, I actually can't even fathom anything else in my lifetime touching that. You know, teamwork makes the dream work, innit? So it's all about, it's all about when, when you work together collectively, you can get more done, innit? All the money that's in football now, it's, it's, you still got to work hard and you still got to have a set formation and you still got to have a tactic to win, innit? And they've done it with a nothing team, innit? The team is probably worth 10 million or something daft. Yeah, but it all nothing. worked, man. Yeah, it all worked, yeah, but it was just it just proves that you can do like it ain't all about money, innit? Especially for my man, Jamie Vardy. No, nah, he should have left and went to Arsenal. He had the <laughs> chance. He, sh he should have taken the money and just ran. I can't do that, no problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, taking off my beard. No, I need to. I need you, you can't afford to take off his beard. Out, man. Hey, what beard? Hey, 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 hey. None of that. You can't take off his beard. None of that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> just, just... He's, got his, he's got his little speckles. You got time to go, grow old. Yeah, I've got five years in it. <laughs> when I wake up in it, you'll see my beard. Yeah, man, see you. Next thing you know, you've got a beard. Roy Hodgson has resigned as England manager after his side were knocked out of Euro 2016 by Iceland. Shocking. Poor team, poor selection. They deserve to win. Maybe even four ones. If you can come out looking worse in the second half than you did in that first half, I think there's something wrong with the prep talk half time. The end of a dream for Wales. Just to get this far is amazing. England, the Euros. <laughs> I actually went out there with my dad for a couple of days. Yeah, no, it wasn't great. They're the most boring international football team I've ever watched. I can't stand their friendlies. So <laughs> destroying. <laughs> it is, bro, it's so destroying. <laughs> you can be joking, up. Usain Bolt ended his Olympic career with his ninth gold as Jamaica won the 4x100 metre relay. It's the third time he's won that at the 100 and 200 metres at the Games. No one's ever done that before. Yeah, Usain Bolt did it again, isn't it? Um, the, the only thing I can say about that really is he's a legend, isn't it? He's done it. I think he, I think he's done it more than Carlos has done now, and Carlos was the man, so. Like, for, for Usain Bolt to do that, and because he's Jamaican as well, you know what I mean, it, it, it boosts, it like makes you feel better about yourself. Second shooting of a black man by US police in 48 hours, and they've both been filmed. One was even live streamed. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Vigils have been held overnight with protesters shouting, Black Lives Matter. We shouldn't have to feel like this. We shouldn't have to protest because y'all are treating us wrong. We do this because we need to and have rights. <laughs> Five policemen have been shot dead in Dallas, in Texas. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us. And the rule of law that makes society possible. There's been an uproar about, you know, the whole of police and the, all these things that are happening and that. It's not new, you know what I mean? It's not new. It's only just, it's only been heightened. It's been well, brought to life. It's been it? brought to life, but it's, it's, it's always been there. Nothing's changed. Like, the only difference is we can now film it. Until like they can properly group together as a as a full community and everyone can support, 
then it's not going to be enough to get it to get it heard. So you're saying uni unity? Yeah, unity, yeah, yeah, unity yeah, yeah. Unity is yeah. the key, yeah. Yeah, like it's, yeah, exactly. Black Lives Matter UK are holding their first official rallies, calling for, for a, a shutdown across the country. They don't give us justice! This morning, a main route into one of the UK's major airports was blocked and in Nottingham, tram lines were closed as demonstrators lay across the tracks. Newsbeat. The Black Lives Matter people that block the airport, I thought that was just dumb and I'd be angry as a black person if I was trying to catch my plane and I missed my flight because you change yourself to... I think that's ridiculous. I get what they're trying to do. I think that kind of... I'm trying to find the word, but it kind of made people... It gave them a reason to disrespect it. It ain't going to change no one's opinion for the better who was thinking a certain way, is he? Because he just blocked up the airport. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get out of here, you know. Yeah? Trying true, to though, get a right? holiday. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? If you were, if you were, right, like, if you were against black people in any way and then you're trying to go on holiday and they just block the airport, <laughs> <laughs> you probably ain't going <laughs> to like them, it. No, it's true. I think it's a terrible time to be honest. Trump is a joke, but maybe he's meant to be the joke that we we don't see coming. I'm not even shocked. When I, when, I, when I went to bed, Hillary had a clear lead. I woke up, Trump had won. I was just like, why? Man, Donald Trump. Up until the end, stats said Hillary won it. Yeah, it's blessed, it's in the bag. Hillary had Beyonce, Rihanna, all these people coming out on stage of her saying, yeah, yeah. She's the, she's the truth. <laughs> she's going to be the, she's, she's the future. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. We have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. I made a mistake using a private email. That's for sure. Um, and if I had to do it over again, I would obviously do it differently. This was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. America's that fickle. They would just rather have someone tell it to them as it is, regardless of how bad it is. Regardless of how bad their message is, he spread fear. No, he, he allowed fear to come to the surface. He allowed racist sentiment to come to the surface. I think, the, to be fair, I don't think it's all about race. I'm not going to be, like, ignorant or make it simplistic. A lot of people talking about jobs, bringing jobs back. And for some reason, although he's not working class, they believe that because he's, he's not a career politician, that he's going to make some real changes. So maybe he will. But then again, Hillary Clinton weren't a better choice, but... Just anybody else. Anybody but, like, that guy down the road on the street, just that homeless brother, my man, anyone than, than Donald Trump, because, I don't know, I just... Why do you think he's just bad? He's a bad, he's a bad brother, man. He's a bad brother, it's just the, his morals, the way he does things, just... Yeah, but do you think he said that them stuff just to get himself like in your mind, like? Cause what it? even if he's done that, that's still a manipulative mindset. Yeah, that means he could be doing worse in the future. I think he said what he needed to say because he knew he was trying to have, attract a certain vote. Do I think he thinks thinks them things? I don't think he does at all, really. I think he just played on an audience that he was aiming at and just done it to the max, anyway. But do I, I kind of rate what he did though? If you think about it. Politics is really just business, isn't it? Every country is like a business. Mm -hmm. 